4-H camp is a blast. I think 4-H camp is cool. The most awesome experience of your life. 4-H camp is awesome and really fun. While at camp, you'll take an educational journey participating in hands-on tracks like science, engineering, and technology, water safety, outdoor skills, nutrition, and much, much more. I think it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. 4-H camp is life-changing. So 4-H camp is an amazing, one-of-a-kind experience that you'll definitely want to have. 4-H camp is awesome. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bonnet, the Louisiana 4-H Virtual Summer Camp Program Set Track. Coming to you today from Camp Grant Walker in the Martinville. As we near the end of our virtual set activities, we want to look back at what we've done so far. We started out with tower designs, worked our way through things like water filters, pipeline construction, and most recently, we looked at parachutes. Now, in today's activity, we're looking at doing the egg drop challenge. In this activity, we'll be constructing structure that will protect an egg when dropped from a significant height. Now in this activity, we're looking at some topics similar to what we looked at with our parachute activity. A lot of this has to do with forces. So if we were to drop an egg from you know, just a, an average height and it hit the ground, we know what would happen. Uh, it would hit the ground and it would crack. The impact force on the egg would be too much for a shell to handle and it would break. Of course, we know that when we let go of the egg, gravity takes over. So that's a force that pulls the egg down. And as the egg travels through the air, uh, air resistance slows it down just a little bit, but not enough to land it safely. So what we want to do is construct an object make a structure that will cushion the egg and give it a little protection when it hits the ground, that it will lessen those impact forces on the egg, kind of spreading those out and preventing the egg, hopefully, from cracking. Before we get started, we want to take a look at the pre-activity questions on page two of your activity sheets. So take a minute, pause the video, Read through your quick explanation at the bottom of page one, and then answer your pre-activity questions at the bottom of page two. After you're done with those, hit play, and we'll continue. Now that you've answered your pre-activity questions, let's take a look at the materials that we'll use for this activity. Now, this can be found at the top of page three in your activity sheet. You have a lot of different materials that you may end up using for this one uh, that you want to have at your disposal. So we want to look, of course, we're going to need a raw egg. That one's the one thing you'll have to have. You will also need, uh, possibly, cotton balls, string, paper towel, some copy paper, straws, popsicle or craft sticks, balloons, rubber bands, a pair of scissors, and a sandwich size Ziploc bag. Now that we've looked at our materials first, let's take a look at the directions on page three of the activity sheet. So again, the purpose of this activity is to build a structure that will prevent a raw egg from cracking when it's dropped from a height of at least eight feet. Now, on page two of your activity sheet, you have a list of materials and their prices for this activity. You are allowed to spend up to $30 for this activity. Now again, this is play money. 
but this is your budget. You will want to think about what materials in this list might work best and in what amounts and judge accordingly as to how much you're able to speak. Now, your egg and your sandwich bag are no cost. Those do not factor into the budget. Uh, you have to have those for the activity. So you will want to think about your possible design ideas beforehand and figure out what you think will be the best combination. Now, on your direction sheet in step two, there is a place for you to record your materials and the total price for your structure. In step three, there is a section for you to sketch out your structure. Now, one last thing with this, remember that not only do you have the $30 budget, but all of your materials, along with the egg, have to fit into the sandwich bag, and the bag has to be sealed closed before we test. If you put too many things in and you cannot seal it, then we won't be able to test it. So now that we have those basic ideas covered, let's go ahead and pause the video, complete steps two and three, that's your budget and your design sketch. After you're done with those, hit play and we'll continue. Let's take a look at one that I've designed and we'll test it out. So you can see here, uh, I have uh, some paper towel, I have a balloon, and inside the paper towels I also have some cotton balls. Of course, the egg is inside of all of that. My budget came out to $25, so I have $5 left over. Uh, and I was barely able to get my bag sealed up. Okay? So, you, again, you may not spend all $30 just because you may not be able to fit anything else in your bag and seal it up. Okay? Now, what we want to do is, from a height of at least 8 feet, we want to drop the structure. And you may do this with a ladder and an adult's help. Uh, I'm going to go up on the bleachers over there to drop mine. Uh, after we drop it, we'll test it out. We'll open it up carefully and see if it survives. Let's test it out. All right, so from here, I'm at a height of about 10 feet. Uh, I'm gonna drop it with the balloon side facing down. And we wanna see what happens. All right, so count down. Three, two, one. Okay, so we drop that, and I think I can see that it cracked, but let's check it out. Yep, it cracked. Okay, so we can see here that it hit on the side. As it fell, okay, there we can see. Right. It fell and it twisted, and the part that was not quite as cushioned on the side hit and cracked. Now, what you want to do is pause the video, uh, go ahead and test yours out. After you're done with testing, answer your post-activity questions at the bottom of page three. When you're done with those, hit play and we'll finish up. Now that you've tested out your structure, let's talk about what happened. So with our structure, um, I didn't spend my entire budget just because I couldn't fit any more in the bag. Uh, mine wasn't successful, but that's okay. Uh, they won't always be. Um, when I dropped mine, it fell, it twisted. The, the egg side was heavier, so it twisted 
and that's the part that hit the ground. So what happened with yours? Was it successful? Were you able to keep your egg from cracking? Um, if it did crack, why do you think it cracked? What happened? Uh, you want to analyze your structure and see what could be changed. So thinking about how we could change this one, what, what else we could test. Um, what do you think might happen if you had a bigger budget? If you were allowed to spend 50 or $60 uh, on these materials instead of just 30 or if you had a bigger Ziploc bag to use uh, would that make a difference so there are a lot of different factors that you can adjust here uh, and test out on the second page of your activity sheets there are some website resources uh, that you can check out they have some different design ideas uh, different challenges that you can take on so be sure to check those out also, make sure to take pictures of your design before you test it and after you test it so that we can see the results. Uh, also, let us know uh, down in the comments below with your pictures, let us know how much you've spent on your budget so that we can compare to, e to each other's. Finally, be sure to check out the link to our virtual program website in the description below. Stay tuned for the next virtual set activity. Coming soon, we'll see you then.